Hey guys, I'm back, and this time I'll be doing a reaction video of uh, the top 10 favorite comic book characters of Gay Genru 2. Um, so, the way I do my reactions is, of course, instead of uh, using the actual cam, I think that reaction videos are uh, the person's actual facial reaction, and you see what it is. But you can also, uh, I've, I've been able to put it so you can hear it. And um, if you want to see the video, I'll post the link. So that way, I don't. It doesn't spoil, but it sort of does. But you see what I mean. It sort of balances it out. Anyway, that's enough said. It's time for my reaction of hunt of 190 subs combined special. His top 10 favorite comic book characters. Okay, here we go. Hi, it's me, Gage, and welcome to my top 10 favorite comic book characters. This is my 190 sub special if you combine both my channels. So anyway, let's get started with number 10. Coming in at number 10 is Atrocitus. Oh. Atrocitus has always just been a badass character to me. I can't He's expect him to be He's the leader of the Red Lanterns, and his backstory is tragic and actually makes you feel for him. And the Red Lanterns, surprisingly, are not actual villains. No. They're not full-blown villains. They're rage. They're actually anti-heroes. The main thing they go for is vengeance. So it's really cool to see Atrocitus, a guy that looks like a monster, actually trying to avenge. I mean, rage is an emotion. It's not really cool. evil. And anyway, we're on to number nine. And coming in at number nine. Oh, is I know this guy. What's his name? Rorschach. Rorschach has always just been another great character ever since I first saw him. I love his design with the trench coat and the changing mask. Oh, yeah. Not to mention how brutal he is at times. Mm. And the actor who played him in the movie did a fantastic job of playing Rorschach. And frankly, I'm just excited to see him in Rebirth because we recently got a tease that he will be in Doomsday Claw. So I'm really excited to see Rorschach interact with Batman of all people. Mm -hmm. That's going to be great. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Anyway, on to number eight. Okay. Coming in at number eight, Another lantern. Dead Star. That's right, we have two Red Lanterns on this list. I really like the Red Lantern Corps. Oh, yes. But the reason why Dead Star is placed so high above Atrocis is because, well, he's a cat. <laughs> yeah. And who doesn't like cats? I love cats, too. Well, some people. I, I do. Like I love cats. One of my favorite animals. But for the most part, cats are great pets, and Dead Star's story just shows that he was loyal. He still is loyal to Atrocitus. Plus, he's just a great character to see on the, on the page. Mm. And on the screen, since he's shown up in multiple games and in, a, in, in Justice League action. Sorry for that stutter there. That's fine. But anyway, let's go on to number seven. Coming in at number seven Plastic is Plastic Man. Man. He's Plastic underrated. Plastic Man has always been a funny character to me. He I'm underrated. He powers for the comedy purposes of the comic book. I don't know much about him either. He hasn't been in the limelight a lot. In fact, I believe he only showed up for one panel in New 52 and was never seen again. Though we do know he'll be showing up in Rebirth, so that's good. I didn't like but his outfit, but I do like his powers. Because he never really got serious because he's technically immortal. And believe it or not, he actually scares Batman. Wow. Yeah, he's so powerful and deadly that Batman's afraid of him. That's why he keeps Plastic Man as a friend. So if you look like this dude, and act the way this dude does, but you're still able to scare Batman? Yeah. That just makes you a great character right there. Uh, he's like wearing a leotard, uh, but anyway, he just scares him. Six. Cool. Now, coming in Jason. at number six is Jason Voorhees. I knew he's on the list now, because Gage told me. I know what you're thinking, but Jason isn't a comic book character. Well, believe it or not, Jason actually has a lot of comics he's shown up in. I figured he would. He this is a comic book in he's using. Jason vs. Ash, and my personal favorite comic, Friday the 13th, How I Spent My Summer Vacation. And in comics, Jason is taken right from the movies, but made even more bad. I mean, Gage likes using classic horror stronger, people in his older videos. And I like that sort of approach. He's even fought Jason X. I know it was a complicated storyline, but it was a badass read. Jason's just a great character. And plus, I grew up with him when I was little. I like Jason when he's more lanky, then more tubby. Makes him more threatening. I always ended up rooting for 
rooting for Jason, by the way, too. Especially when you so, figure out the villains. Yeah, now. just because of all that and my, my nostalgia for Jason, he easily met, takes the number six spot on this list. Plus, okay. his comics are pretty good. Now for the Doomsday? number five spot. That's right, we're in the top five. That's Doomsday. We have Doomsday. Ah, got to be on the list. The creature that killed Superman. Sorry for that pause, I heard a uh, locust. But Doomsday's always just been a great character to me. I always was a big fan of the big, brutish characters you oh, see in yeah. comics. And I always liked characters that were just up in your face, beat you down kind of characters. Never was much of a fan of the I'm gonna hang back and attack you from a distance. I always liked the people who were all up in your face. And the fact that he bet Superman helps so Barely anyone represents that more than Doomsday. Yeah. He's always attacking you with brute force and it's his It's good flaws. to see Superman and lose. his design sort of. is fantastic. He looks like a demon covered with spikes. <laughs> Doomsday's just always been great to me. He's even shown a lot I mean, of I demons normally have two horns that I pick to run. But having loads of, of spikes is awesome. for a little bit, but then was sent to the Phantom Zone. But I do hope we get to see more of this guy, just because he's so great to see. My okay. Now coming in at number Scarecrow? four, we have Scarecrow. Now, the thing I love most about Scarecrow is the fact that he preys on one of humanity's greatest driving emotions. Fear. Fear. Fear drives people to do everything. All to survive. True. And Scarecrow preys off of that. It's just great to see him. Now, he has had some odd designs in the past, but he's also had some great designs. I think... And just the idea of Arkham, using fear The Arkham games made the uh, needle arm thing. Not a bomb thing. or a gun to the face. Just pure, unbridled fear. It's just great to see. Plus, his excellent combat skills with scythes and other farming tools is great to see on panel yep. too. Scarecrow is just a great character. Okay, we're in the top three, and three Back comes to, Gotham, to Bane. 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 Bane has always been a great character to me. He was the man who broke the bat. Yes, talk to my mom. Because he used his mind. He didn't just use his brute force to do it. He used his mind to mainly do that. Yeah. He studied Batman. He had a plan. Learned about it. Figured him out and use that as a weakness to defeat him. Bane has done this multiple times. So if you're able to have all the power that Bane has, and the, and the brains to back that up, you're just a great character. There's no question about it. Plus, it's also been shown that while Bane hates Batman, he also respects him. And that just adds to how good of a character Bane can be. And at number two, we have Judge Joseph Dredd. I don't even know much about That's Dredd. That's right. We have Judge Dredd as my second favorite. Now, whenever I first saw Dredd, I, I know he's like Robocop. Liked him, a lot like a lot of these characters on this list. As soon I as think I saw Dredd, I liked up. the way he was. I hated Stallone's movie, but I loved the other one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forget who played Dredd in that one, but it was great. It actually captured who Dredd was. But the reason why I like Dredd so much is, I guess, is because he gave me a mentality. Aww. He always wore that helmet. Yeah, he does. Iconic. Except for the time he was badly burned on a walk and we actually got to see his face, but he managed to get surgery to fix that. Ooh. And then he went right back to wearing his helmet. But yeah. it is implied he is deformed. But the mentality that Dredd gave to me because of that helmet is that justice doesn't have a face. It's not one person you can just rely on to save the day. Yeah. Justice can be done by anyone. Exactly. Anyone can be a hero. Bingo. Anyone no can do what the law does. Yeah. And that was a mentality that I always kept. And another reason why I like Dredd so much is because he's not afraid to Makes actually me wonder break why the, the law, law says you're a vigilante. To do what he thinks is right. That's right. Numerous occasions have shown that Dredd has broken the law to do what he thought was right. Well, like people the take the law into their hands. Uh, segregated, or hated on, Dredd actually broke the law to defend the mutants. Because he knew it was the right thing to do. Hmm. And that just always made me 
respect Dredd as a character and everything he's done. Okay. Anyway, on to number one. Finally. And my number one favorite comic book character is Lobo, the I, main man of DC Comics. I don't know Lobo much now, at all. It's weird. I, I do know he was in a blood battle. What pulls me into Lobo to love him so much? But I just do. I first figured out Lobo as a character when I played Injustice, the Ultimate Edition, when I had it when I was younger, and I played Lobo. I liked what I was seeing with his personality, so I looked him up. And he instantly became my favorite. He instantly shoved everyone else out of the way like they didn't even matter. Lobo is just a great character to me. Mm -hmm. He's snarky. He's cocky. He's dang near invincible thanks to his immortality. I just loved everything about him. And I couldn't tell you the rage I felt when I saw the new 52 Lobo and what they did. No one liked the new 52 Lobo because they replaced him. Yeah, it wasn't the actual Lobo. They replaced he just kind of looked like a buffed up Joker. Called himself Lobo. From this image anyway. But luckily in Rebirth, we, we got the old Lobo back. The snarky one who had an attitude. The one who was a badass. Who didn't care about anything, really. And the one who was just the mercenary, the main man. It's why Lobo has the name the main man. But, yeah, Lobo's always just been my favorite since the day I saw him. Mm. I always just loved his character, his hyper-violent attitude. I wish I knew more about Lobo. Maybe we'll get he to him in, in a... such a comedic way that he was so hyper-violent that it was comical, and the way he made jokes while doing it just made it all the better. He's like Deadpool from Marvel, but a hundred times better, because he does actually mix seriousness as seriousness with his comedy. I guess it all depends really if you think Which is fantastic to see because it just it. helps drive the punchline that much harder and just makes it that much funnier. It all depends on whoever so likes I am just the characters really glad more than us. That's just my opinion. Birth, and they're actually making him a main character of the Justice League of America. We're actually getting a new story with him recently. Oh. And he's actually crossed over and given a lot of love right now. He's shown up in Justice League action. He is banging Harley Quinn in Harley Quinn's Little Black Book issue number six. He's crossed over with the Roadrunner. He's been a main character on the Justice League vs. Suicide Squad storyline. And like I said, he's a main character of the Justice League of America. And they're about to do an annual with him being a prominent main character with the story being mostly about Lobo. So, yeah, Lobo's just pretty much my favorite DC character. I'll even be getting a tattoo of him soon, once the ink comes in. Cool. But, yeah, my number one favorite is Lobo. So, a quick recap. Coming in at number 10 is Atrocitus. Number 9, Rorschach. 8, Dexter. 7, Plastic Man. 6 is Jason Voorhees. 5 is Doomsday. 4 is... Scarecrow. Three is Bane. Two is Judge Dredd. And number one is the main oh, man, Lobo. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. Uh, yeah, Gage, I really did like that. That was pretty good. A nice top ten. There was a few there I didn't mind. A few didn't mind. I didn't know any at all. But of course, like I said, that's so quick. Subscribe to Gage's um, channel. He does lots of great stuff. Um, I'll post his um, icon around here at the end. And uh, Gage Unru 2 go, goes to that one. It's not Gage Unru, Gage Unru 2. So go subscribe to him now. He does great content. Till next time, guys. This is my action. Keep it up.